G'day, I've played a lot of mini motorways, so I figured it would probably be worth making a just a general tips and tricks video just to show the way that I play the game and approach. And if you're sort of new to the game uh, or you wonder about the, some of the techniques I use and why I use them, well, let's, uh, let's get that covered. So the first thing I would say, just in the options here and the way that I play, I think it's worthwhile setting the game to night mode as opposed to being real bright sort of makes the, the game a lot darker to look at. And what you can also do is set colorblind mode. If you use colorblind mode, you can customize it and you can pick the colors that you want to see. Um, my color palette here was very much slowly over time um, making my videos. People would say that they couldn't tell the difference between two different colors. Sometimes some colors were hard to see at all. Uh, so in the end, that's my, uh, my lineup. I don't, don't think we ever see that light blue at the end. Um, so those two in place. So what we're going to do is just have a look at a level. Uh, let's pick something that I haven't done for a while. That isn't too bad. Something that I don't have a huge score on. Not Wellington. Chiang Mai. All right, let's do this one as our uh, our test. Let's see how we do. So on the on the list, you can see I'm top four. So it does feel like there's a bit of room for me. So I can give myself that challenge too. While we talk about the the approach that I have. Okay, so obviously the bare basic of this game is you have destinations, you have houses, you need houses connected to destinations. Um, now what you're going to see here once we connect this second house is that the house, the cars on the left are going to be the ones that are going to be taking care of this, not the cars on the right. The game automatically picks the closest car to a destination and that is who is going to be doing the first delivery. So if there are for example, if we kill these both of these, and we just let this guy build up, we'll let him um, let this guy get connected. If we um, if we let him build up, so you can see that now he's got one, two, slowly, slowly, very early days. It's how long it takes to get three. Three. All right, so if I pause the game and then connect these two, you'll see one, two, three, because those two are the first priority. He's the third priority. That guy's number four. So unless a new order comes before these guys over here get home, which it didn't, they're going to go out and go again. And so that guy is basically just the break glass in case of emergency, number four guy uh, in our uh, order of, of support. So when you have an option like that and you know what order that the, the houses are going to go it it can affect the way that you um sort of like can design your road um i was going to show it well let's just sort of pause this for a second we'll build these guys around so i can give an example of what i mean no i don't have a um i don't have a set of traffic lights yet so i'll show you sort of like the way that i use traffic lights and why i don't use them that often because of the, the specific scenario that we have now the other thing about the way that we're i'm setting up here is when you connect a car to a road ideally what you want is everyone to be a driveway rather than a um rather than a road connection so you can see with my two blues on the top this guy is sort of like the road and then this is just a little driveway that connects to it uh you can see over here we've got two guys um i don't quite know why it's interesting that his turn makes him the further away of these two houses um but you can see he's basically a driveway onto the road this is the road that's the driveway this is the road that's the driveway if i was to connect this guy he's now a road into this and um possibly uh, I do want to give the example of traffic lights, but I'm already down to one bridge. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, but you can see that this guy's possibly a driveway as well already, so he might be okay that essentially the road is uh, is that now. Now, the reason that that's important is if a house is a driveway, you'll generally see that cars will just zoom past. They don't see it like they're going through an intersection. If you were to sort of like move him out and connect him like that, you'll notice that these guys will slow down sometimes, not every time. A little bit here, you can see he comes and he slows down a little bit as they pass that because it's now a caution because they are driving past an intersection. Whereas if they're driving past a driveway, you don't slow down going past a driveway. Um, all right, so let's disconnect this bridge here and we'll run these guys around here. We'll just shape blue out a little bit more and we'll allow yellow to get in and connect for this guy. Okay, so the next thing, um, 
All right, well, we've got to reshape these guys too. The next thing I want to talk about is when are um, traffic lights worthwhile? Now, it's, it's not very often. Um, so let me show you my theories on this. So, and they keep adding houses so fast, it's hard to try and describe it while I'm uh, trying to fix some of these uh, the world's problems. Okay, we'll go this guy. So these three houses are the closest houses for our friend Blue down the bottom here. Um, in fact, what we probably want to do is we'll cut those guys, turn them around, run them that way. And then if we had the extra bridge, which we now don't, they would go help out at the top. But that's sort of like the ultimate plan there. Okay, so say if we look at um, these three houses here. If this did have to be a... Uh, painful one too because it's I've only got no bridge I can replace that with um give me a good example of a guy I currently don't have any this guy all right in the setup of these blues in the bottom these these three guys here no nope, even better this green okay I'm gonna pause it for a second so if we were to run green like this right that's totally fine that's the ideal way to have a setup so in this scenario he's a driveway this is the road he's going to pull onto the road uh he's not going to create an intersection so this guy will still moves slowly uh, steadily sorry ideal way if we were to remove this guy and put him in a connection like this that is the only scenario where i would use a traffic light and that doesn't even work. You can see what's happened here is that the traffic light is now saying the primary road is towards this guy and this guy's the secondary road. We don't want that because we want the primary road to be towards the guys that are closer. Normally you wouldn't do this with two houses, you would do this with two neighborhoods. But if I was to make that connection there, you will see that the closer cars to this destination is this guy. But the problem is if I think I need two neighborhoods to connect in order for this guy, um, in order to support this destination. The problem is that they are going to be slowing down every time they go through this intersection. Now, this second house is actually just the support house. He shouldn't be, he's, he's obviously going to be only used in emergencies because he is the guy at the back. This is always going to be the closer house in this setup. This is always going to be the auxiliary house. In this scenario, if we put a set of lights there, um, how am I going to get to this pink? I guess we've just got to sort of run along like that and let them run around the top. If we were to put a set of traffic lights there like that, what will happen is you can see that the green light is for this flow straight through. Now, what that means is that the um, every time a car comes to here, he's not going to slow down. He's already got a green light, so he's going to shoot through. You can see no longer are they slowing into that intersection. And that light will just permanently stay green because these are the guys that are primarily looking after that house. When the backup guys come, they're going to come and use that intersection. But basically what that green light is doing is it is just a go sign. It is saying to the guys in the closest setup, you can just go. Like, don't worry about waiting. You have right away all the time. And so that's basically what that's doing. Again, if we remove it and you watch... Uh, you'll see what will happen is they will um, slow down and he goes so much slower through that when they're coming and when they're going so much so that you actually might see this auxiliary guy go even though um, if the, the traffic light's there, he's not needed. All right, we want to get rid of that bridge because we want to make it just a cleaner one. So that's the other thing too. If you've played Mini Met uh, Metro but haven't played Mini Motorways, Unlike Mini Metro, you can't sort of do the Twitch reactions to, to setups to try and really game it uh, like you could in, in Mini Metro. In this one, you have to be a bit more deliberate in your setups because if you have to change something, it's um, it's going to be a problem. So, uh, but again, it's only a problem if you're deleting road that someone is currently using. If, uh, who's a good example? Let's give this guy's traffic light back. So, for example, if I was to delete this piece of road here you can see it's going to sit there and stay there because there are cars still driving on it whereas if i'm going to delete that one it goes because there's currently no car who wants to use that piece of road and that's basically the logic that that's going to operate on if it needs to um if a piece of road 
if a piece of road is being used, it won't leave until it's no longer being used. So you can sort of work around that. You can go, all right, well, what I'll do is say this, this guy needs, I need to get rid of this piece of road here, but I can sort of make that connection there. It, you can see it's gone because they've got an alternative route. So you can sort of set it up by giving them an alternative route to, um, to get there. And we'll just get rid of those guys set up and just make them all connected. Um, we're just going to get rid of this and we will build up and around that pink guy. So one thing as well that you can see also by the way that I've, I've built this already and, and not mentioned it too. The way that I play is that you generally want a set of houses and their focus is one um destination you don't want more than one destination uh being shared uh, sharing houses you can see the, the example here that i currently have that rule broken with um with blue and i'm about to break it again with orangey red at the top here but that's in for orange red it's partly because all of their houses are just in the same place and the um We just cut that up we can get that guy connected to all right we'll just get the sudden surge of uh of attention required over here um we've got two motorways so let's see what we can work out what we want to do with those motorways hopefully we're going to see a few more greenhouses before uh, we have to make any major moves these two yellows what we're going to do is we're just going to use one of our motorways and skip over so generally, your motorways you want as your break glass in case of emergency setups. Um, this particular case, I think we're going to have to use these two guys to there. Uh, I'm going to turn that guy around as well. And it's going to draw a line out of here. So again, it's messy, but sometimes you've just got to sort of set it up. But the intention is that those, will, those things that we've just done will be corrected. Our goal is that we don't want anyone sharing. All right, well, let's get this yellow guy up and around too, because we're going to need his support, because we're now going to have two different yellows once we've got available tiles uh, being supported by that motorway. Um, you can see green's currently doing terrible. Uh, definitely, we're going to take that bridge. What we're going to do is we're going to reclaim this motorway, and we will get these guys to just cut across here and run into the back of that guy. And we are going to get this guy to come down here and run into that. So yeah, break glass in, in case of emergency should be your mindset with motorways. Don't just use them because you have them. Wait until you definitely need to use it. Uh, you can see green is is starting to fall in that sort of situation. Um, and this is a bad run of like, they're dumping a lot of stuff over here. You can see so far we've got no houses on the right here. Uh, and that is going to be a long-term problem if they don't don't start giving us some options. So what we're going to have to do, I think, is put a motorway here. Again, not a great one because it now means that they're sharing with this guy. But they're both squares. I think the the big rule that you want to make... Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is get rid of that. So that now it's those two are lo looked after. This guy at the top, those three are looking after him. Green is a, is my problem at the moment. I don't like that green is having to run all the way from here to the other side of the map that way. I've just got this green on this side as well. I'm just going to make that a little bit more problematic because we suddenly, suddenly just seem to be on this urge to get way more built, uh, destinations than we do um, houses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this green guy around that way. I'm going to get rid of that. So it's those three guys looking after this green on this right hand side. And we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to swing these three guys around. I'm going to send that the other way. We can't afford it though. Mm -mm -mm. I guess we've got no choice, do we? It is a dangerous game trying to hold out in hopes that you get a motorway. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild that. And I guess we're going to make these three guys... 
work out if we can get these three guys to connect across. I mean, I guess what we could do is that, and then that. Again, not pretty, because it now means there's three different greens that are all sharing. But in lieu of more motorways, and in lieu of any houses on the right here, uh, this is the pain that we're going to have to suffer. Now, you can see what we've got here is we've got two blue circular destinations that are sharing five houses. Terrible. Terrible setup. We don't want that. Now, the other problem is that we I wanted to get this motorway to put it here to let these three guys to go help out him. Um, problem is, if I was to do that now, none of those guys are at home. So they're going to be making that journey all the way around. They're going to have to make it all the way back before they can start to use that. So instead, what I could do is put that there. Um, but I think that you can see that there is one, two, three, four guys that are pretty close. And what they these guys should at least do is that they will probably um, come home via the motorway. So we should be okay. Um, I won't remove the road yet. I will let these guys just sort of get in there and... Uh, and help out a bit. You can see it's they've still been able to clean it up. I do have enough blues on this right hand side in the middle that I actually do want them to come uh, and support one of these two blue destinations in the center. Definitely I need way more motorways at the moment just because of how far I have some guys that need support on this right hand side. Finally we as soon as we get one red guy in the right spot on this side we get a red guy on the wrong side, uh, wrong spot on this side. So, again, I don't have that much in the way of road tiles, so I can't, I'm not sure I can get that close to this guy without sort of having problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that road, because now these guys, you can see at least one of these guys has made it home. So they're going to be um, helping out. And then what we can do is try and see, well, for this, we're going to have to cut down this way. So one road tile off at the moment. There we go. These two guys on this side, these are orange at the top right, are going to help a lot because they can take perfect. They can take support for this lower orange on the right hand side. Same for these pinks at the top. These pinks at the top can take support for the pink on the right hand side. Uh, the problem I currently have is yellow. I've only got four. I can get a few more connected. No, I can afford the road tiles. I need to get some more of these yellow guys connected to that. I've got three. I need three more. So let's get rid of those two road tiles. We can get that guy on. And in a moment, we can get another guy on. We just need one road tile to come back to us. We can try and pick one. If you need a road tile in a scenario like this, what you can do is just have a look to see where they're not being used. You can see, for example, these two houses here currently aren't being used to support this pink. So we can delete that. We instantly get the road tile because it's not being used. And we can get this guy in here to address the yellow problem that we have um, at the top. What we really want now is a whole bunch of road tiles and we want a bridge. So we can run these two pinks across to uh, help this guy out. And that'll free up these pinks down the bottom. Now, the one other thing that I haven't talked about at all in this is a roundabout. What I was showing before when it comes to the traffic lights, that's generally how... It's a really Sorry, this is a really quick... Um, give or take. I want road tiles and this would give me 30, but the motorways give you less road tiles, but the motorways are so valuable, there's no way that you can decline a road tile. Um, by just taking that motorway, what we can do is we can get rid of a setup that allows us to gain a lot of road tiles. So what I mean by that is that now we've got this motorway, we, we want to basically get these orange guys on the top right to connect to him, but we need enough road tiles to get down here. If we look at the different things that we've got set up, we can go, well, if we get rid of, say, these tiles here, we can put a motorway there. And this is a much needed one because we don't want two um, circular guys sharing. That should give us at least a handful that gives us a chance. We might have to leave that connected to now because I'm not even sure we're going to get through this point. Get this guy around, not yet. All right, so what we need to do is work out a way, well, how can we get down to this pink? Because we've got basically a whole week where we're going to need to do that. Possibly we need to reconnect this blue just to 
Um, get this sorted out. Uh, I desperately want these four pinks over here helping out up here because then we can send these two guys down. Although I hate having a motorway just using two guys. It's such a waste. Like, let's um, let's try and get more guys being shifted across. Um, so, what should we do here? Um, let's wait a second. Okay, so. We can possibly use green's line to get further up here, but then this pink isn't connected to this. And I don't want the I don't want two guys being relied on to, to help out everything. So um let's pull at least one of these houses down to help out. You can see that green uh, that pink there hasn't been doing anything. So let's get him up. We're gonna run pink into green. We're gonna run green into that. So now we've got that guy covered. Basically, that's where we're at now. We've got this pink set up at the top, and we just currently can't afford to uh, to connect them to anything. We're hanging out for a bridge. Uh, we'll always take a motorway, like I said. When no, not even in doubt, always take a motorway. You can see we've just got a whole bunch of those green uh, road tiles from around the top too. So that's given us nineteen. Um, still nothing that we can do with those guys because they're. Um, still need a bridge for that. These guys here, what we can do is run them down and in. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that, the connection for that guy. So it is, these guys are exclusively looking after um, this guy down the bottom. Okay, now that we've got a circular yellow on this right hand side, red flag, we need circles having immediate focus we can't have them sharing with another yellow so we need to find a solution for this other yellow too we are definitely getting a lot more problems than we're getting solutions at the moment and this is where using spacebar to pause and think about stuff to try and work out what your next move should be is definitely ideal um one thing that i should be doing at the moment is getting a few of these pinks uh connected in here again we are just connecting more and more guys to a network that we don't want and these are all the things that we have to address. Everything on this right-hand side is basically needing to support each other at the moment. And I hate it. You can see this guy down here. To get here, we need all of these guys to run down through. Thank goodness. Moment's too late because now I don't have a... Um, uh, like, all of these guys have already left home. So we're all heading down here already. Um... What you can do sometimes with the motorway is you can use them as a temporary fix. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drop that there to get the two guys from this house at the back to go help out. And you can see there, even only one of them has gone down because there's so many cars already on the way. So we're just going to have that there temporarily. Just let those few houses go through. We're going to pull that back off uh, and we're going to let those guys um, sort of like let that guy just sort of calm down now that he's got this this network connected. So what I want to do once we get this uh, motorway back that I've just used. Just waiting, waiting. So again, we've got to wait for the last car to come off it. Which to me means that there must have been one car that came off that way that's headed up for this guy at the top. One of the major dangers of trying to use... Um, Uh, trying to connect, like, uh, uh, having more than one destination attached to the same thing. There's no guarantee they're going to go to the one that you want them to. And as a result here, we have just put that temporary uh, motorway out of commission for so long. Okay. So, these three guys down here, I would love to just connect in here to go support this guy. But again, because of how everything's currently set up, and I don't have the support, and I don't have these guys, and green's cutting through there, it's again means that, um... We're going to have to connect them even more to this network. And this is terrible. This is terrible. And we need to rem we need to start removing guys from this. Step one of this is getting this motorway back. Which you can see the disaster that's happened. Because one of these guys up here. This guy right here. Was the problem child. And took that out for so long. Done. Okay. So that's out. Let's figure out what we can do to try and reduce the amount of traffic in this zone right here. So you can see, um, firstly what we can do 
is that we've got a whole bunch of yellow sitting down here. Some of these yellow guys can help out with this one there. They're not. What they're actually doing is they are just, um, they're just sitting there waiting. You can see this guy's not being used. But these three houses here, if we attach them to that network, it means that they can now go look after this guy at the top with those three houses. So what we can do is we can disconnect that. And this guy, this yellow down the bottom, now has the exclusive rights of the six yellow houses. We can even make it seven uh, down here. Really, what we should do is now move this point from up here, uh, our the entrance to Highway 1, down to the bottom here, because this is where these guys are, and they're left alone down here, as opposed to those guys having to work through um, orange traffic. So because we have a spare motorway, you can see we've got that motorway on hand. If I move this now, you can see it immediately moves. I've I still I've lost access to my fourth highway because that highway is still being used. I can also get rid of that, I think. Yes. Um, uh, because that highway is still being used, but it allows me to immediately move the one that I wanted to correct. So that's good news. We are, I am still going to leave these three guys connected. Um, because uh, they do have value in coming down to support this guy as well. Uh, so we'll leave that for now. We'll just wait for this motorway to come back. And so you can see now... We're still in a bad way here, but these yellows that were rolling up this way, they're not going to do it anymore because there are now no more yellows in that network. There's three greens down the bottom here uh, that we now no longer need as well because there's greens up here that can support this guy. So what we can do is we can disconnect that bridge, disconnect those three guys. Uh, we'll run those guys up to help with this green here. And... Then what we have is we're going to get this bridge back too. Also valuable. We haven't had a roundabout. I haven't got to talk about them. But we are going to go road tiles. The way that I would use a roundabout in a game like this. Actually, let's use the roundabout because why don't we use examples. Is in here. Is a perfect example. And that roundabout is going to actually slot in perfectly in that spot. What this should do is it means that now people aren't going to stop at an intersection. Instead, they are just going to go around uh, in a... Um, obviously around a roundabout and sort of move a bit more efficiently. These guys still just seem to be moving through the the old uh, road waiting for that sort of cleanup. But now we go and you can see that they're going to move a lot smoother than, than what we had previously. We've also just inherited these four greenhouses at the top. So the good news with them is it means that we can take care of that guy and get rid of that motorway. So we've just gained another motorway back in our uh, attempts to clean up everything that we've got. So you can see that our green friend on the right hand side here is still struggling. Now, part of that is because of the setup that we've got going on here and what we're still continuing to attempt to clean up at the moment. Step one is getting our bridge back. So we are waiting for this bridge on the right to return. And once we've got that, then we're going to make some changes. In fact, we won't make that step one. We're going to make that step two. Step one is I'm going to get rid of that network. And I am going to disconnect these pinks from... Uh, from where they were and instead what we're going to do is put this motorway and jump him to there so pink is now removed from that network I would love to have had these pinks connected to this pink in the top right the reason that I don't I'm not too bothered about it now is because there's yellows down in this bottom left hand corner too so this motorway is actually fun would be there anyway like we would still need um, that being looked after Okay, we have our bridge back now, and this is good too because this guy's freaking out. So what we want to do is we're going to turn blue around, and we're going to disconnect this road here. We can get rid of our, our little section set up there. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that line to a straight line. So now all that is happening here is these greens are just focused on this green here. All of these oranges at the top here, they're all focused on this guy here, and these guys at the top here... They are just focused on this one here. This is important because it now means that when you have um, two different guys going wild, like you saw with the pink houses before where we had one guy go and help this pink house in the top right, the problem there was that we had um, we had a 
a, a pink guy go and decide to look after the top one. It's like, no, no, that's not why I've connected you. I've connected you to give a quick assist to the bottom one. And when you've got a point like this where you can see that that orange is freaking out, this orange is freaking out, we want a certain amount of houses so that we know every single one of these houses, every single one of these drivers is focused on this one guy. And if he has a problem, okay, then I'll go find more guys for this one guy. If I've got two connected, I don't know who the guy that I'm bringing in to help is actually going to go and help out. So this will clean that up a little bit. Uh, what we also want to do is these three blues down here, we can now just have them run straight up the river and connect there. So in that nice quick movement, you can see we haven't even got rid of the motorway yet, but now we've completely separated out everyone on this side. We just need to see these blues get off this road so that they stop getting in the way of these cars and they can start to move in a nice clean movement and try and um, fix that guy up. We should see we're going to start to win that one. Uh, you can also notice that as something turns bad, like what we've got right here, everyone goes bad. So you can see all three of our oranges are currently in trouble. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slow these two orange guys down the bottom there, and they can just help out that. We basically wanted to make sure that every man uh, is, is helping out. Now, with our roundabout again, what we're going to do is you can see the backlog of pinks trying to get in here. Generally, if you've got a double destination, it's kind of nice to have both sides of the double destination working. But the problem we have is that there are these are basically just two roads emerging. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that so that it is two roads going into a roundabout. Okay, well, this is an okay get for um, down here. We've got a yellow guy that we can attach straight to it. All right, we'll always take the motorway. Just keep an eye on how our... Um, orange down here is doing. Those, they both seem to be doing okay. They're sort of correcting. This pink here is still our problem, but you can see these guys aren't yet using the roundabout. So hopefully in a moment we're going to see that fix itself up. Uh, and we will also get to some um, try and get some pink on call to make sure that we can come in and help this out. But you'll see that now suddenly we're going to start flying in. Um, the other thing that we can possibly do here to help out is we're going to drop these guys off that network and we'll use one of the two motorways we currently have and we'll just scoot them to the other side to try and smooth out the um just to help pink sort of clear out this uh this mess that they've got and you can see pink is now on the on the winning side there okay i just heard someone else start to freak out it's our green down here because we've got two greens being looked after by two houses um, because of the layout of this, I don't think we've got much choice. Uh, we can't get around, as you can see, we've worked all the way to the bottom of the road. We can't really get around this to, to get any more, um, like get up one so that we separate out those two neighborhoods. So what we'll do is we'll just give them a whole bunch more houses for now, just to try and fix their mess. Um, you can see that we've got two greenhouses down the bottom here and if we're lucky in numbers we can get them up there so we don't have to keep the we don't have to connect the two of those guys which is always nice obviously our goal still these greens that are that are not happy a motorway we could use to skip these guys at the back forward to the one further away and you can see that there is a lot of traffic as those guys are ha hitting the um hitting all those driveways as the guys are coming out. But you can see we are winning the battle on this guy at the moment, so we'll just keep an eye on it. Feels like we're losing now, so let's drop these guys off the back. Disconnect that, and we will give these guys uh, a motorway across. We'll give that guy that way. So basically what we want to see is once these two guys here stop coming, cutting across, I'll take the road tiles because that seems to be the big problem for me. We'll see these guys come in and start to, to correct a little bit more. Get those, that guy at the top connected. So part of this as well is trying to just keep aware to make sure that you are, you are using all of the available houses that you can. But also, sometimes you, you want to actually free it up so that there's not as many. So, for example, this road across here with all of these extra houses seems like you're better off. Like, in theory, it seems like you are in a better situation. I don't like that connection at all. That really um, 
makes this tricky. I think that what we want to do for this, we want to work around the outside of that. So we'll turn these guys around. Um, I'm going to claim those two houses. We'll go up that way. We'll go that guy in there. Uh, we'll leave him. Turn that guy around and then we'll ring this guy around that way. And we'll get rid of that. Then what we'll do is we'll run this down here and use those three guys for that one. Um, yeah, you're, sometimes you're better off with fewer houses if it means that those fewer houses... Who was that freaking out? This guy up here. Well, we just gave him another house. Uh, we also have all of these houses at the top, but what we don't have is a bridge or a... Um, a motorway. So as it stands, all we can do at the moment is just watch that guy and hope he doesn't crash and burn. Uh, we have this one yellow house looking after that guy, so we can't really turn him around to, to go help out. We've got this like growing neighborhood down the bottom of yellow that also we can't get up there because we don't have any bridges. Uh, and if they're not near anyone that would sort of be able to use the bridges of. That's not the, the same for these guys here. What we could do is we can turn one, two, three, four guys around. You can see this orange here is not in a bad way at the moment. So we can at least sort of use that existing infrastructure to get these all like six houses over there and hopefully get through fast enough to, to help out. Like it's not necessarily about um, being a long-term solution. It's more about can we just get a sudden surge of all of these cars over there to help out. And you can also see that possibly they're doing worse for red here. Like they're slowing down red's efficiency to, to do that. hopefully see that we are slowly winning the battle there. We do have a bridge now, so lovely. What we can do is we can run this across here and down. What I also want to do is I'm just going to make that connection there because I want to claim back, at least temporarily, while these two guys are doing okay. I'm going to claim back that motorway. Um, and I'm going to turn these two guys up, get rid of that road so they're not sort of bothering those guys again, get rid of that, and then hopefully we'll see them go along the top. Now what we can also do with this uh, is, so this is a weird little setup I've got for who's helping out the top here. Like this guy's got what, three guys here and then four up there. Uh, and I suppose those guys are also helping out over here. So I didn't realize that they were sharing. I didn't make that connection that that was uh, the case. So I'm gonna try and fix that too. We're just gonna wait for that motorway, which I do have back now. Okay, so. What we can also do here is we can take these guys and turn them around. One, two, three, four, five. And so now they are helping out with this guy and we can claim back this motorway too. These guys here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, they're all going down there and that's still okay. We've got a bigger group down here, but we won't worry about them yet. So the question then is, who can we take to look after this guy? And I think the answer is this huge group of yellows that we've got down the bottom. Now, in part, they're sort of got green in the way at the moment um, because of where these greens here are sitting. But what we can do is we can turn those two guys around. We can leave these three looking after him, which I think still should be enough. And that allows us to get these two guys to cut in as well. So we've got seven guys. There's no point in making this look down. We'll try and get them as close to their destination as possible. So we'll get these four guys facing up. Um, we have the extra motorway at the moment. So what I could do is I could drag that up one and then I could place the other one in the more ideal spot. But I don't think that, I think it's worth the effort that we'd have to go to. So we're going to get rid of that one and we're going to ask these guys to go surge up there and, and help out. They're on a much shorter route than the other guys, so that sh should be a lot better. Uh, what we also have is we're going to just loop this up slightly and back down, which then means that we've got four yellow guys that can help out with this yellow in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, and then we can connect all of these pinks to that line too, so they can go help out that guy, so they're at least doing something. 
So you can see here these yellows and these pinks again are working in harmony down here, which is nice to see. Uh, so that's a good thing and we'll just sort of let us run for a little bit longer here. But you can see our, our goal is always that sometimes we do have to connect more than one network together. But if we can clean that up again, we're going to be okay. Okay, so we can see red is now our flavor of the month struggler. Uh, do we have any more available houses that we can try and get connected to these guys? This is a weird setup I've got for, for their network. There's three houses here that currently aren't connecting to anyone. So they could jump in and try and do some support. We've got two available motorways, so we can definitely use them. I think they're the only guys. There's one red house down here, and there's one red house in the top left as well, and this one in the middle. But other than that, it's these three guys. But you can see that other, other than those, everyone else is currently being used um, to help out one way or another. But sometimes what it is, is it, it is just that there is an influx of traffic on that line. If one building struggles, then all buildings struggle. Uh, it's sometimes the case. So what we need to do is just try and help everyone out. So hopefully these, these guys here will just help the case here. Um... We'll see. Sometimes creating an intersection in a section like that it makes things work like worse before it gets better. But we do have two motorways too. Um, I'm obviously including the one that I've currently got there. Uh, and I feel like there are some answers for for how we could approach this. Like we could get rid of we could say give these guys the motorway. If we did that, got rid of all of that line there. Uh, we could then put a motorway there and jump it to there. So what that should do is just make that guy more efficient. Uh, let's get this guy in there. I guess we'll give that a set of traffic lights. Let's try and get them moving right. We'll see if this helps this guy a little bit. We'll get rid of that one for now just to see if, how this guy does with his, um, his motorway. Because sometimes you can see there's just an intersection there essentially now that, that can be causing the problem. You can see we're now winning the battle for both of those guys. This guy's slightly slower, but they are moving. Um, I guess we can get that guy to run up there and connect just to give him a little bit extra. Who's that? So now we've got yellow. Okay. Yellow's unhappy. So can we get more yellow? We've got three yellows here, but we can't really turn them around to, to look at each other. We've got these four here that I think that we can possibly disconnect. Again, this uh, orange road would probably be suited for a, um, for a motorway. They're running far enough, although I guess there's the guys over here as well. But what we'll do is we'll grab these four guys. Uh, just keep our eye on how this guy's doing. Nah, we'll take that as the warning. That's why it's worth having that sort of backup motorway just for emergencies like this. We'll just surge those four yellow um, houses over that way just to sort of help out because what will happen once you sort of get further through the game is they will start to um, they will start to complain a whole lot more like they will suddenly surge like at the moment yellow is our current problem child you can see how the problem that we've currently got speaking of problems with this yellow here like that is a traffic jam And we are going to have to address that too. So I think same as what we did before. Let's get rid of that. Let's connect that guy in there. We'll give him the extra one. And we'll bounce them to the other side. Let's see if we get them going in the other side. If that cleans that up a little bit. Um, this yellow here is running on really nothing. Uh, we need to give him a bit, a bit more support if we can too. What options do we have for him? I mean, I don't want to connect these two roads because he's, um, like, again, that would cause that problem where they're not really sure who they should be supporting. But this is what you, what I mean, basically, that yellow is currently having a, um, a freak out and we need to address, address it. And I don't think three guys is going to be able to cut it for this one. So, um, what I need to do is grab some of the yellows here and get them over there, but I don't have the, um... The availability. I think what I'm going to have to do is trust those guys are going to be okay. 
Try and sling these guys back this way. But I've got to wait for these guys to get back to be able to go and help. So... And, and I also don't have... Like, I've got to wait for them to get off that road so we can actually move it. So we have two different problems that uh, we're about to face with that. Let's have these yellows here that could help out on this guy. Like, they'd be by far the closest um, support for him. And that would be a, an ideal spot for a traffic light. Um, how are we doing? Is that the last car to come back? Alright, go guys, go. Run, 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 run. But I mean, you can also see the guy at the top has got the death sentence for that too, because now he's he's the one that's going to die. And uh, on that, it is tight. Which which yellow is going to fail me out here is the, uh, the question. Let's go at the top. There we go. So that's a sort of a was a nice five thousand look there. That that sort of hopefully gives an idea of the different like just the basics of the game and then the logic that I try and use to, to sort of shift guys around. Uh, we can jump into the menu and uh, just see like my uh, top one percent always nice. Put us at two hundred and thirty. Uh, any questions or comments? Feel free to chuck them below. And until next time, catch you later.